Hello, today we are going to learn how about mid circles. A mid circle of two given circles is the circle which would invert each of the two given circles into the other. The mid circle acts like a spherical mirror, which you can see the image distorted. Where the two given circles are external to each other, we again construct a pair of common tangents to their to find their point of intersection, which again is the center point O of the mid circle that we want to draw. The radius of the mid circle, however, is a little more difficult to obtain. We have to construct a circle which is tangent to both of the given circles and then find the point of tangency T on this circle from the center point of the mid circle. This obtains the radius OT of the mid circle we want to draw, as can be seen here in red on the screen. The reason why we have to construct a tangent circle to both given circles is that this circle must invert into itself with respect to the mid circle we are looking for, and therefore it must be orthogonal to the mid circle. Two circles are orthogonal when their tangents at their intersection form a 90 degree angle. Well, let's start. We have to find the external tangent lines to obtain the center of the mid circle. To do this, we start by drawing the line R, which joins the centers O1 and O1 prime. We get two new points, which we will call X and Y at the external intersections with both circles C and C prime, as you can see here on the screen. Next, we are going to subtract the radius of C from the radius of C prime. To do this, setting our compass to the length O1X, we are going to transport it from the extremity point Y, obtaining a new point Z, as can be seen here. And the radius O prime one Z is the difference between both radii. So now setting the compass on point O prime one and with a radius O prime one Z, we are going to draw an auxiliary circle as shown here. The next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment O1, O1 prime. So setting our compass on O prime one and with a radius slightly longer than half the line segment, we scribe an arc above and below the line as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on O1, we're just going to scribe two more arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And finally, with a ruler, we will join these two intersections, obtaining a new midpoint M. As can be seen here. And now setting the compass on the midpoint M and with a radius M01 or M O prime one, we draw another auxiliary circle as shown. These two auxiliary circles intersect each other at two points P and Q as can be seen here. The next step is to draw a line from O prime one through point P and elongate it until it touches at the original circle C prime at a new point, which will be the tangent point T. And now we will draw a parallel line to this line from point O1, getting our second tangent point T. And the next step is to draw the tangent line S connecting both tangent points and elongating it until it cuts line R as shown. Where it cuts line R will be the center point O of the mid circle we want to draw highlighted here in red. So the next step, we are going to draw a circle, which is tangent to both of the given circles C and C prime. To do this, we are going to draw a random line from the center of the mid, -cir of the mid circle O, which cuts our, the original given circle C and C prime at two new points A and B, highlighted here in red. So the next step, we are going to draw another line starting at the center point O1, through point A and elongated as shown. And now we draw another line starting at another center point O prime one through point B 
and elongate it again as shown until it cuts the previously drawn line at a new point O2 highlighted in red, which is the center point of the auxiliary tangent circle we are looking for. So with the compass centered on O2 and with a radius O2A or O2B, we draw this auxiliary circle as shown. So now we have to draw the tangent line segments from the center point O to the last auxiliary circle. This line segment is going to be the radius of the mid circle that we want to draw. To do this, we start by working out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment O, O2. So again, setting our compass on O2 and with a radius slightly longer than half of the line segment, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on O, we scribe two more arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And now using our ruler, we join these two intersections, obtaining the center point N. So setting the compass on our midpoint N and with a radius NO or NO2, we draw another auxiliary circle as shown. These two last auxiliary circles intersect each other at two tangent points T, as can be seen here. OT is going to be the radius of the mid circle. So the final step is setting the compass on the, on the center point O and with a radius OT, we draw the mid circle we are looking for, as can be seen here on the screen, highlighted in red. Okay, so here you have a complete explanation about how to obtain the mid circle between two given inverse circles. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by smashing the super thanks button. Until the next video, thank you.